Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna do something different. Instead of reading a story, I am going to introduce to you to a new way of reading. And this is different from the normal approach taught in school where you are required to read from start to finish of a passage, um, article or a book, word by word. This new approach requires you to use your conscious and your unconscious mind to read. And when I'm talking about the unconscious mind, I am talking about the instances where you have set aside the material for a night and come back to it and all of a sudden you are able to solve problems that you weren't able to solve previously. Imagine using that kind of brain power to read on and absorb anything and everything that you want to read. There is actually a methodology to this end, and that is called the photo reading by Paul Sheila. And this procedure breaks down the whole reading process down to five steps. First, you want to prepare and be clear with your reading purpose. Preview the materials that you're about to read photo read with emphasis on the areas that are of most interest to you, activate by actioning and reflecting upon what you have read, and rapid read to wrap up and review. By following these steps, you would not only be able to absorb vast amount of information in a short period of time, but also identify commonalities among different perspectives, raise unique perspectives from your own and action upon them and yield results in a short period of time. By doing so, it would not only give you a competitive advantage at school or work, it will also give you the most efficient time management and self-growth because it allows you to bypass your comprehension speed which is usually the bottleneck of capping your normal reading speed and reduce any distraction that might distract you from your reading. So let's find out each of these steps together. The first stage is prepare. In this stage, it is not only important that you be clear with your reading purpose, but also make sure that you are comfortable and relaxed. Most importantly, make sure that you are entering into a focused learning mode. Research indicates that fixing one unit of attention on a single point helps you effectively focus your other available units of attention when reading. Where you fix your point of attention is important. For example, when driving a car, the best point of attention is on the road, not on your hood ornament or the bumper on the car in front of you. For the efficient reader, the ideal point of attention is just behind and above the head. A tangerine technique helps locate and maintain the ideal point of attention and instantly create the relaxed alert state of body and mind we desire for reading. Here are some of the steps that you might want to follow. Hold an imaginary tangerine in your hand. Experience the weight, color, texture, and smell of the tangerine. Now toss it into the other hand and catch it. Toss the tangerine back and forth between your hands. Now catch the tangerine in your dominant hand and bring it to the top back part of your head. Touch that area gently with your hand. Imagine feeling the tangerine resting there while you bring your arm down and relax your shoulders. You can pretend this is a magic tangerine and it will stay in place no matter where you put it. Gently close your eyes and let the tangerine balance on the back of your head. Notice what happens to your physical and mental state as you do this. 
you will feel relaxed and alert. With your eyes closed, imagine your field of vision opening up. Maintaining the relaxed feeling of alertness as you open your eyes and begin reading. The next stage is to preview. Preview the written material that you are looking to read. Plan about thirty seconds to five minutes for this activity. Survey the written material and pull out trigger words that are five to ten for articles and twenty to twenty-five for books from the written text. Look out for high visibility and repeatedly used terms. Look out for persons, places, and things in fictions, and terms in the back index of your book with the most page numbers listed. In this stage, you can review and decide your goals for going further. You may decide not to read the document after the preview, or you may decide only to know the document in a general way. Whichever way you approach this, you should read as you shop for groceries. For example, if you're looking to buy milk. You would not survey the whole grocery store to locate the milk that you want to buy. Instead, you would go straight to the dairy section and locate where the milk section is, and look for the brand and size of milk that you want to buy. Same with reading. Previewing helps with classifying perceptions and recognizing patterns. In this stage, resist the urge to focus on the particulars and strengthen your motivation. There is also the choice to post view with the same steps after the photo reading step for enhancing creativity, insights into a new subject area, or developing knowledge or skills to change a prevailing paradigm. After you have previewed your written materials, you'll be ready to enter into the photo reading stage of your reading. Check if you have a few minutes before you begin, and clearly state what you expect to get out of the written material through photo reading. Enter into the accelerated learning state and contact your other than conscious resources of mind. And turn on the brain's right hemisphere and deeper database of your long-term memory. Affirm your concentration, impact, and purpose, and set goals that are achievable. Enter into the photo-focused state with a soft gaze, and practice seeing without looking, and see with the whole brain. With forty-five degree angle to the table and ninety degree angle to the eye, maintain a steady state while photo reading, and chant to the rhythm of the turning pages. When you're ready, close with positive affirmations. You may consider photo reading before sleep, since the mind reviews information during sleep state. Taken in below the conscious awareness, you may consider photo reading books that are emotionally gentle and comforting when you are photo reading before sleep. After you have photo read your written materials, you are now ready to enter into the activate stage of your reading, where you are to re-stimulate new neural connections you created by photo reading. And this can be broken down into spontaneous activation and manual activation, where spontaneous activation is without conscious effort, as it is the automatic connection to past experiences and neural patterns already existing in your brain, whereas manual activation uses actual text as catalyst for re-stimulating the brain. Post viewing can be an excellent transition into activation, as 
It is where you are to formulate questions you want to answer, but don't read to answer yet. As you build curiosity and strengthen desire to build neural connections, you would recall at the beginning of this video that I have referenced instances where you have set aside materials for a night and come back to it the next day, and all of a sudden you can solve problems that you weren't able to solve previously. And you should use the same practice in photo reading. So dismiss information after photo reading and post viewing for at least ten to twenty minutes, ideally overnight, and ask yourself questions and discuss with others on what's important to you in the book, article, or report, and stimulate curiosity, and find the best ways and means to achieve your purposes for the materials that you are exploring, and don't expect immediate answers. As your conscious mind shuts off access to the vast unconscious database of your brain, super read and dip would help with the activation process. Turn to sections of the text that attract you based on visual cues as you follow the structure of the text. Like a Superman coming down to Earth for the first time, you should dip into the text, reading a sentence or two. Until you have received your needed information, then resume super reading. Limit to a paragraph or two at a time for articles, or a page or two for books. Use soft and open gaze to allow eyes to move more smoothly down the text. Follow intuitive signals on where to look. Read for thoughts, feelings, and ideas, not words. Do not worry about all the details, as only four to eleven percent of the text carries the essential meaning, according to Russell Stauffer. Look at topic sentences, and look for cues in the first and last paragraphs of a five-paragraph theme. Follow the author's train of thought, as your brain is already skilled at searching for cues. By ninth grade, skittering also helps with the activation process, and this involves entering your ideal state for reading in a relaxed and alert manner. Review your purpose, read title, subtitle, and preface of the written piece. Read the first few paragraphs of the written piece. Read the first sentence of the paragraph you're reading. Move your eyes in a rapid pattern over all the words in the paragraph, except the first and last sentence, and spot words that provide support to the first sentence. Follow circular pattern clockwise or counterclockwise, or move from center out, or from edge to the center. Read the last sentence if you're unclear. Read the last few paragraphs completely. Read the summary if there is one. Review and reflect on what you've read, and create a brief mind map of your own words to describe the written piece. According to Gerald Edelman, memories are not stored in a localized fashion. But are reinvented each time we access them, and ideas and images we want to remember are not recalled from storage, but are recreated on the spot. And so, photo reading lay the railroad tracks for our train of thought to travel on. After you have completed the activation stage, you might consider rapid read to wrap up and review. Where you would move swiftly through the text from start to finish, and skip paragraphs that you have already read, or that contains information that is too simple or redundant, or that is a section that is unimportant for your purpose. You might consider reading slower when the text contains new and unfamiliar information, or that you sense complex information. That needs more careful consideration, 
or that contains important passage you want to explore in more detail. However, do remember that never stop at content that you do not fully understand. As you read on, you might come across information that might explain these contents. What I've covered in this video is a brief overview of the photo reading methodology. If you would like to learn more about it, you're welcome to visit the hyperlink I have included in the description box below, which takes you to an online free PDF version of the book, Photo Reading. There's also a link that takes you to the Amazon page of this book if you would like to have a paper copy of your own. If you're interested in how the brain works and how to read better in general, you're welcome to visit my Substack page. And let me know what kind of pain points are you experiencing in your own reading exercises and what kind of topics would you like me to cover in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.